Hi, my name is Helen Parrott and I'm one of the teachers on the NCFE CASH Level 2 Diploma for the Early Years Practitioner. The aims of this course are to ensure that students can obtain skilled employment within the early years sector, working with children from birth to five years. The progression from this course is to move on to the Level 3 T level in childcare and education. Is this course right for you? So to enrol on this course, you must have GCSE Level 3 in English Language or Maths, or Functional Skills Level 2 in English Language or Maths, as well as three other GCSEs at Level 3 or above. Maths and English can be studied alongside the Early Years Diploma. This course is based both in the classroom and in the workplace. You'll have five lessons a week in class and you'll spend one day a week in placement at a local nursery or preschool. So this course links together knowledge and practical skills. Placements can be either close to your home or close to college, whichever is more convenient. And we will help you to find a suitable placement. You will study 14 different units within the course throughout the one year. All units are mandatory. With, there are no exams within this course and everything is assessed and graded by your teachers. Each unit is made up of criteria covered by both assignment work and practical tasks carried out in placement. So out of the 14 units covered, um, the teachers will choose different units for different teachers depending on their knowledge and experience. Each of the units will have assignment work as well as practical tasks for you to carry out in placement. Teachers will visit you on placement between two and three times to make sure that everything is okay and to observe you working and practicing with young children. You will need to complete 250 hours of placement in a variety of early year settings. These hours will be carried out in two different settings with two different age groups. So naught to two years, potentially in a day nursery, and then three years up to four years, 11 months. And these hours can, be can take place in either a day nursery or a preschool. Assessment takes place in different formats, so all 14 units have learning outcomes which are assessed internally by your teachers. Some learning outcomes are based on the competencies and skills which are carried out in placement, and some learning outcomes are based on knowledge. Learning outcomes which, are taken, which take place in placement uh, will be observed by either one of the teachers or by your setting supervisor. You will be recognised by Ofsted as a professionally qualified early years practitioner to work at level two in an early year setting. You will also be able to progress to our level three T level in education and childcare. Our students have obtained employment in nurseries or preschool. They may have become classroom assistants. Um, on progression to level three, you can then move on to um, foundation degrees in early years, or it may be that you want to go to university full time. Some of our students have gone on to university full time to become teachers or to enter social work. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact. Hi, my name's Susie and I'm here to tell you about the new T-Level in Education and Childcare course that we will be running at HSDC Alton in September 2021. This is a new two-year Level 3 course that has been developed in collaboration with employers and businesses to meet the needs of the industry. The purpose of the Level 3 Technical Qualification in Education and Childcare is to ensure students 
have the knowledge and the skills needed to progress into the skilled employment or onto higher technical training. The course is designed for students between the ages of 16 to 19 who have achieved five GCSEs at grade four or above. If you would like a mixture of classroom based lessons and practical learning and you have a keen interest in working with children, this course is for you. Whilst at college, you will study 12 core units and five specialist units over the course of the two years. The units cover a broad spectrum of subjects to help you practice and develop your skills for working with children. Here is an example of the units you will study. All students are required to complete 750 hours within the industry placement. The placement provides students with a valuable opportunity to develop the knowledge, skills and behaviours required for employment. The industry placement is also used to assess and develop the student's competencies. For assessment, you will undertake two exams, one employer set project and a synoptic assessment. English, maths and digital content are embedded throughout the qualification and will also be subject to assessment. After successful completion of the course, you can progress into employment as an early years practitioner or continue your studies at university. If you're interested in the course, please check out the website or get in touch. Hi there, my name is Susie and I'm the course leader for the Health and Social Care Level 2 course. I teach alongside my colleague Julian Bunce and he is also the tutor for the Level 2s. This course is a one year course and you will be in college for three to four days a week. Alongside the Health and Social Care course, you can also study English and Maths if you didn't achieve these at school. Throughout the year, you will study eight different units and you will be assessed on these. Lessons will take the form of practical lessons, observations, discussions, debates and your assignments can be a variety of things. You may be asked to produce posters, leaflets or take part in discussions. To complete the work you will need to make sure as a student that you are organised, independent, you're able to manage your own time so that you can meet the deadlines required for the assignments. A requirement of the course is that you undertake a one week's work placement, so you will go out for work experience. Now this can be within a care home, nursery, community hospital, and this will be set up and we will come out and visit you. This work experience week is absolutely crucial if you want to progress onto the level three course. The work experience week is really, really useful for you to see what it is like in industry. So you can bring those experiences back to the classroom. This will help you enormously with your assignments and be really good for discussions within the class. So if you get the right grades and you're invited onto the level three course, that would be fantastic. And eventually you could progress into many, many different health and social care job roles. If you're interested in studying Health and Social Care Level 2 at HSDC Alton, please check out our webpage. Hi, welcome to the Health and Social Care Department at Alton College. My name's Deb Hopper and I'm the course manager for the Level 3 Health and Social Care programmes. Um, I want to talk to you about our 3 A-level equivalent extended diploma in Health and Social Care. It is a two year full time course. Within that, each academic year, you would get a total of about six lessons or six sessions, and they will work out to be roughly two full days and two half days, maybe one a morning and one an afternoon. Um, on the course, the course you cover six units per year plus one that carries over the two year, which is your work experience one. In work experience, you are expected to carry out at least 100 hours, which equates to four weeks of work experience, actually in the health and social care setting. In order to get onto the level three course, initially you have to have five GCSEs, grade four and above, or the old school grade C and above, um, it must include English and Maths. If you don't manage your English and Maths grade uh, 4 and above, 
then it's not the end of the world. We do have a level two program that we can put you on initially. Um, and that's a one year program so that you can retake your English and maths. And then that becomes a precursor to coming on to the level three. So the level three program, as I said, six units per year. You have four units in total that are examined, externally examined. So two exams in year one, two exams in year two. The two exams in year one, you will sit those in January. So we concentrate and focus on those units from September through so that we can get those exams done. All other units are coursework assessed, so internally assessed by us. And the assessments take place in the form of written assignments or um, videoing work experience or videoing role play and actually practicing. So you have a performance criteria checklist in order for you to achieve. So we can observe you carrying out specific tasks. Um, on the course, you're, we have a range of compulsory units as well as um, optional units. And the optional units, as a team, we look at each year and we determine which units we're going to use as the uh, optional units based on what the industry is asking for and based on what the preferences are for the cohort. So moving through, examined units are lifespan development, working in the sector. Um, compulsory units, this is assessment assignment based, would be individual needs. This is your work experience one. We have psychological perspectives, so that taps into the mental health side of things. Um, and we have principles of safe practice. Moving on to the level two, uh, on to the year two programme, we again have two examined units, one being anatomy physiology and one being research ethics, the principles of research. They're quite heavy exams, but this is year two of your a-level equivalent program so we really are setting you up for university with these again they will be sat in January with an option to do a resit in the May if you want to upgrade we then have the rest of them which is coursework which will be promoting public health infection control physiological disorders again very sciencey based so that it increases your UCAS conditional offer opportunities um, we also do um, health psychology. Within the three A-level programme, you will have achieved a total of 12 units plus the work experience one over the course of two years. The types of jobs that this will take you into are a nursing of any type, whether that be children, paediatric nursing, mental health nursing, adult nursing, any form of nursing. It will take you into midwifery, take you into occupational therapy, physiotherapy, um, social work, um, community mental health, all sorts of things into the care sector. You can actually get straight onto an apprenticeship in those or it can get you straight into the world of work, into the, into the industry working in care work. Okay, thank you. Hi, welcome to the Health and Social Care Department. I'm Denise Hopper. I'm the course manager for the Level 3 programmes. We're running a T-level in Health Sciences supporting adult nursing teams. This is a full-time course, so you'll not be able to take any other subjects along with this. However, it is very much a course that focuses on industry practice and experience. As such, you will complete a minimum of 45 days in a healthcare placement setting. The rest of your course will be taught in the college through formal lessons and simulation experiences. You'll be taught in lessons that are very interactive with lectures, simulation, guest speakers, role play, and we carry out revision sessions um, to prepare you for your examined parts. The entry requirements that you need to come on to this course are a minimum of five GCSEs grade four and above, which must include English language and maths. You will be assessed externally through exams which are set by the awarding body and internally ass internal assessments through coursework, which are both written documents and simulation. 
you'll also be assessed through the completion of an employer set project and your placement practice evidence and observation will count towards that. The progression routes that this course can lead you on to are into higher apprenticeships in nursing, degree programs in any form of nursing or paramedic science, or into the health and social care sector workplace. This is very much a hands-on course which suits anyone who wishes to learn predominantly through real life experiences in the settings, as it is more focused on practical competencies. So there are core competencies which can be applied to any nursing or healthcare profession and nursing specific competencies which support your progression into a nursing career. All in all, it is a very exciting programme of study and we hope to see you on it.